Hi, I'm Randy Dukes from dukesanddutchesses.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple stained color blocked basket. This uh, hangout is sponsored by Minwax and I'm going to show you some really fun Minwax products. One that I'm using to make the basket and others that are just interesting products that I've never seen before and thought you might be interested in too. So stain has changed a lot from the days um, that you think of staining your deck way back when. I picture stain just coming in a big paint canister, you slop it on, it's kind of liquid, and you use it mostly for painting a fence. But not anymore. Stain has come a long way, and it's now being used a lot for crafty projects, for DIY home projects, and it comes in other forms that make it way easier to use it. So I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I find really intriguing, and I think you will too. Minwax now makes wood finishing cloths. So if you just have a small project, instead of buying a whole can of stain, you can buy these little packages. They're just like wipes. They're covered in stain. You wear gloves. Use them to apply the stain to a, a somewhat small project. Craft projects are perfect for these. A wood frame. And you just wipe it on and let it dry. And they come in a variety of colors. You can see I've got dark mahogany as well as maple. It looks like we're having a little glitch on the hangout. So just bear with me with the color and hopefully it'll get a better connection in a minute. Another fun product that's out there um, by Minwax as well is a spray can. So this is actually a stain and polyurethane all in one and you spray it on the same way you would with any spray paint. So that simplifies life immensely. If I had known this was available when I built our farmhouse table, I could have saved a huge step of adding polyurethane after. And then Minwax also comes in different tubes now. So it comes in different colors and I'm going to show you with my project today a really fun color. But it's squeezable tubes that you just squeeze out the amount you need and then also clear protective finishes that you can use afterwards as well. So let's get started on today's color blocked project. I love the color blocked look. I think it's really popular right now and it just adds kind of a fun touch. So I've taken a basket and this is just a really typical um, probably bought at Walmart or, or a price efficient store and this is made of a straw material. You can do this on any kind of wicker. The stain will adhere just as well. And I took painter's tape and just marked off a section all along the top. And to make it really easy, instead of measuring where I wanted it to go, I just lined the tape up right along with the top of the basket and ran it all around the outside so that I've got an equal um, area blocked off from the paint all the way around. And then I'm using this color in indigo. It's a stain that goes on just like any other stain, but it's much more like a gel consistency instead of that really liquidy stain that we're all used to. So you just open up the pop top. I always use a paper plate. And so you just squeeze it right on. And if I can kind of show you, it's a little runny, but more like a craft paint consistency and not like a liquid stain. And then I'm going to use a foam brush, and you can see that I already did this on part of the basket. But all I did is dip my brush into the stain. I dabbed it again just to get a little of the excess off, and then brushed it. And I'm going down away from the tape, because if you go up, chances are you'll end up with some stain underneath that um, tape. And so you just cover all. And because of the weave of this basket, it actually sits right on top of that weave, which I like. If you wanted it to give a little better coverage, you could load up your brush with a whole lot more paint and really get it into the crevices or use a different kind of brush that would feed right in there as well. I want it to show with that natural, um, the natural straw coming through, so I'm just brushing right along the top. And so you just do the whole basket. You can do the bottom as well if you wanted. And if you don't want a color blocked look, you can always go ahead and just paint the entire thing. Skip the taping part of it. Once you've got all of the color that you want, 
And I'm going to skip the bottom because I need it to stand up to dry. So once you've got all the color that you want, take a look at it. See if you have any areas that need filling in. And when you're finished, just go ahead and peel back your tape. And you have, okay, not quite as easy as it's supposed to be. Peel back your tape. And you have this really great color blocked look where only the bottom of the basket is stained. Let me peel it off completely so you can get a really good look at it. So you've got the top that remained bare with the normal straw, and then the bottom is all color blocked, which just gives it a really cute look. And blue is big this year. You're going to see a lot of blue in home decor, so this indigo stain is perfect. So that's it, a really simple way to add some fun color to a project without having a big mess. And all you need to do is clean out your foam brush and throw away the paper plate and you're set. And the stain will stay sealed so that the rest of it will be perfect for the next project. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy project. I'd love it if you'd pop over to my blog, dukesandduchesses.com, and check out the projects I'm doing there, and follow me on social media. Have a great day.